So the most common question I get, bar none, is about this, is about the studio wall and how, how I'm setting it up to I can, so I can lift these paintings up and move them all around. So I thought I'd show you. Um, the way this works is, let me pull this down. I don't know if you can see from there, but this wall has a lot of, it has these screws in it. These are about four or five inch screws, four inch screws. And they are drilled in really quite deep. Um, so about half an inch is showing, five eighths is sticking out. And they're drilled into the wood studs in the wall. All walls have studs behind them, generally speaking. And they're, they're organized uh, 16 inches apart, generally. Sometimes they're 18, sometimes they're 24. So you kind of have to figure that out. But once you know, you can put screws in and you can get them level. And I've got, these screws are going, and they're perfectly level. You don't do it off the floor. Get it so they're level. Like the floors in this studio are all crooked, but you want it level so you're looking at a level painting. That's, I did that wrong the first time. I measured from the floor and then I'm, all the paintings were tilted. I have these screws going all across the room, around the corners and everything, so I can move these paintings wherever and whenever I want. One thing I did wrong the first time is I put screws everywhere. You don't really need them much lower than this because you can just put the painting on the floor. Um, but I have them, you know, if you kind of want to have, I have them about six inches apart uh, here, kind of, a, this is the area that I'm generally working. And I like to have like, this is good if I'm working on the top, then I can move it here and then I can move it here. And then I can even go even higher. And if I really want to work on the bottom or whatever, depending on the size of the painting, I can put it up there. So I can move these paintings and I can, I even have screws even higher. I can move the painting, get on a ladder and put it up on the wall if you have really high ceilings and just store it up there, you know, so it's above the painting you're working on. So that's kind of cool. Um, I move them paintings around all the time. Sometimes the order I'm working on, like I'm really working on a series. I put it, I get them all the same height and then I take the one I like and I put it on the other side and I just to keep the whole, um, the whole wall interesting. This is really fast. It's really great for photographing the, photographing the work as well. And if I'm gonna be showing the work, I, it's like having a little show. I can rearrange things so they look really good. So if a collector or someone's coming to the studio, I can present it really nicely. Um, the other thing that I just want to share with you that I probably didn't talk about the last time, like a year or so ago when I shared this wall, is that I started using these six by nine inch, six by six piece of fur. These are, these are about 20 inches, uh, 18 inches, and they're six inches thick. And these I put on the ground. I put them down on the ground so I can have they're like spacers, so the paintings can sit on them. And it doesn't, I don't, you know, it's not such a big deal with small work, but for larger work, so I can just throw them down like that. And now I can see the edge, the bottom edge of the painting well, and I can lift it up easier, and it keeps the dirt out of the way, and just kind of, so that's, that's also nice. And I like to be able to have these so I can stand on them as well. It gives me six inches when I'm working on my paintings. So I'm using them all the time. I've got about five sets of these. They're all piled over there. So, and plus they're kind of cool because they get, <laughs> they get really interesting after a while. They become like these sculptures, you know, and I mean, they're just, they're just getting really cool, you know? So um, that's another thing with these, these blocks that are really good. So the whole setup is just getting great. The other thing that I use these nails for is, um, I have some empty panels that I just use. They're almost like shelves, and I can demonstrate it with this. I can put this on here, and now I've got this shelf here, and if I want to photograph smaller work or look at it, I, I use it as a ledge. And this is great for photographing smaller work instead of on like a table or, you know, because there's no way to hold this up. So I can just place these here. And sometimes we'll be working on a large painting and I'll have small ones on the top and it just, it's really, really great. So anyway, um, that's kind of how, how I, that's the, the, the level of um, complexity this has been. I think, I think it's there. I, I, everything works really, really well. So if you haven't set up your wall or if you've never done this before, this is really fun. This is a great way to set it up. So 
Um, I'm, I know there's a lot of different ways to do this. Uh, so for those of you uh, watching, leave a comment and, and let us know how you do this. I think I've I think this block idea was somebody else's that left a comment. So uh, please share what you're doing because it just helps everybody else. And um, for those of you who are new here, if you want to join our free Art Life Facebook group, you can click on the link below and do that. There's some really cool stuff being made. It's super fun. Hope your day's great. Um, hope you get to make some art today and have a great weekend. Okay, thanks a lot. Hey everyone, if you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So please join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, great. Let's do this.